Okay, principles of flirtation. Eh? The principles of flirtation states that when an object floods in a liquid, the buoyant force or the upthrust, eh? okay, either one, you can just tell the upthrust or the buoyant force, eh? x on the object is equal to the weight of the object. Okay, now what does this mean? Eh? It means that um, if there is an object, and there's a liquid first, okay, there's, a, there's an object, okay, this is, a, this is an object, and uh, the object is immersed in a liquid. Either it's a fully or partly immersed, uh, because they say floods, uh, floods. Floods can be fully or partly uh, immersed in liquids. This object will experience two forces. There are two forces that act on this object. So there's an uptrust. Uh. There's an uptrust that act on the object. Other than uptrust, okay, label with F is the uptrust. Other than the uptrust, what other force that acting on this object? The weight. The weight. Okay. Try to avoid the words gravity. Gravity. Okay. Weight. Eh? Call it weight. Weight is the gravitational force. W eh? is the weight. So these are the two forces that act on uh, this object. And according to the principles of flirtations, eh? if this object floats inside this liquid or on the surface of the liquid, then the uptrust is equal to the weight. Eh? So the uptrust is equal to the weight. And this is reasonable. Eh? If, if the uptrust is not equal to the weight, then this, this object it will either move up or move down. For example, if the weight is higher than the uptrust, then this object it will move down, right? If the uptrust is higher than the weight, then this object will move up. Okay? But if this object floods in a liquid and it does not move, then the force acting upward must be equal to the force that acting downwards and therefore the uptrust must be equal to the weight. If the object is like this, it's like this, okay? You see, uh, compared to this one, compared to this one, uh, okay? This one, it displays less water compared to this one, right, okay? And if it displays less water, less water is displaced, then the uptrust will be smaller. So this, this, for these two cases, uh, this one, uh, the uptrust is higher and this one, the uptrust is lower. Why? Because this one, it displays less water. This one displays more water. Always remember, the uptrust is equal to the weight of the displaced water. If you displace more water, then you will have higher uptrust. This one is a lower uptrust. Now, if this is the case, okay, this is the case, uh, the uptrust will be lower than the weight. Eh? Let's say the weight is 50 Newton. This one, the uptrust is 50 newtons. So the weight 50 newtons, this one the weight is still 50 newtons, okay? But the uptrust is lower, let's say the uptrust is 20 newtons. Then what will happen? The weight 50 newtons. The uptrust, because it displaces a small amount of water, it's 20 newtons. Eh? It won't sink, okay? But it will move downwards a little bit. It will move downward a little bit. Okay. Now this box, it will move down a little bit. Now when it moves down a little bit, so when it moves down a little bit, it will displace more water, right? Yeah, move down a little bit, it will displace more water. When it displaces more water, the uptrust will increase. Let's say the uptrust increased to 40 newtons. But 40 newtons is still not enough because the weight is 50 newtons, right? Okay, so you see when it, it moves down, it moves downward, it will displace more water. Displace more water, it will increase the uptrust. That's just now 20 and not increase to 40. Still not enough. Still not enough, then it will displace more water. It will go down. Okay, it will go down again and displace more water. Okay, it will move even lower. Okay, move even lower and displace more water. And uh, as it moves downward, okay, so now it displaces more water, then uptrust increase again from 40, increase to 50 Newton. Now when when the uptrust is equal to the weight, uh, then it will stop moving. It will stop moving and it, it achieve the uh, equilibrium of forces. Uh, okay. And then... Uh, the uptrust is equal to the weight. Uh, this is stated in the principles of flirtations. So principles of flirtation says that if the object floods in, uh, in, uh, in the, the liquid, so on the surface of the liquid and it does not move, then the weight of the object is equal to the uptrust. Uh, it must be equal to the uptrust. If the weight is higher, then the object will sink deeper. Okay, it will, it will move deeper into the water uh, until the uptrust is equal to the weight. But if the object fully immersed in water, fully immersed in water, 
but still the uptrust is lower the uptrust is 40 newton the fully immersed uh, the weight is 50 newtons the object fully immersed in water but the uptrust still lower than the weight uh, uh, then this object it will straight away sink to the bottoms okay it will keep on moving downward and sink to the bottoms because if this is the case no matter how deep it goes uh, the the uptrust still 40 the uptrust won't increase anymore eh? okay. if it's fully immersed already yeah, because even it go down also it won't displace more water this one is different this one if it move uh, deeper into the water it will displace more water eh? this one even it move deeper also it won't displace more water the water displaced is equal to the volumes of the object eh? okay so since the volumes of the object is uh, constant, this is fixed already. So even it move deeper, it won't displace more water. Uh, then it won't increase the uptrust. So that is about the principles of flotations. Uh, so this diagram also show the principles of flotations. Uh, okay, object partially immersed in water. Okay, the two forces acting on this wooden block, the weight and the uptrust. And the uptrust must be equal to the weight eh? uptrust must be equal to the weight according to these principles of flotations. If the weight of the object greater than the uptrust the object will sink into the fluid example three and example four okay okay example three example four uh. example three first this is the uh, objective questions uh. okay the answer is a yeah uh. luckily it's not e okay okay now let's discuss the wrong answer first okay the, the wrong one first uh. uh let's start from e yeah uh. The pressures on the upper surface of the cube is equal to the pressures on the lower surface of the cube. This is definitely wrong, okay? Because the deeper into the liquid, the higher the pressure. So the pressures at the bottoms must be higher than the pressures on top. Deeper in, into the liquids, higher the pressure. So pressures at the bottoms is higher than the pressures on the surface. Huh? So E is not correct. Then how about D? Volume of the displaced water is equal to the volumes of the cube. Now. The volume of the cube is this. See carefully, gate. Okay? The volume of the cube is this. This is the cube. And the volume of the displaced water is just this. This is the volume of the displaced water. This is the volume of the cube. This is the volume of the displaced water. Volume of the displaced water is the volume of the object immersed in water. Okay, how much it immersed in water, how much it will displace the water. If it immersed 30 cm cube, then it will displace 30 cm cube of water. The volume of the displaced water equal to the volume of the cube if the whole block is immersed in water. If the whole block is in water, then yes. If the whole block, uh, the whole block is in water, uh, then yes. In this case, then the volume of the object is equal to the volume of the displaced water. If it's fully immersed. If it's partly immersed like this, then no. No, eh? Uh? Okay, so it means that D is also not correct. Only if it's fully immersed, eh? or, or, can, or you can write here. Only if the object fully immersed. Then how about C? How about C? Eh? The mass of the cube is equal to the mass of the liquid in the container. No, this is not correct, okay? This mass, okay, it can be, uh, let's say this is just uh, 1 kg, okay? The mass of the liquid in the container, it can be... Uh, uh, 10 kg or 20 kg okay if this is in a if this is in a c it can be a millions kg yeah? so the mass of the object is not equal to the mass of the liquid in the container the mass the, the object can be 1 kg 2 kg and the liquid can be a, a really huge yeah it can be 20 kg or 40 kg it depends on how big the container right c is not correct okay B, the densities of the cube is equal to the density of the water. Now for this one, uh, I will show you in the whiteboard. This is about the density. Yeah? Densities of the cube greater than the densities of water, the block will sink to the bottoms. If the density of the cube is higher than the densities of water, the block will sink into the bottoms because the weight must be higher than the uptrust. I will explain to you later when we discuss the difference between weight and uptrust. Eh? Okay. So now you just need to know that if the densities of the cube is higher than the densities of water, the, the cube will sink to the bottoms. If the densities of the cube is less than the densities of water, then the cube will partially immerse. Partially immerse. Eh? 
if the densities of the cube is equal to the densities of water the cube will fully immerse okay fully immerse but not necessary it must sink to the bottom it can be any place inside the liquids okay of course it can be at the bottoms of the liquid as well it can be okay as long as it's fully immersed in water then it's okay it can be here here or can be at the bottoms any place eh? uh, it must be fully immersed eh? it must be fully immersed in liquids if the densities of the materials of the cube is higher than water it will sink to the bottoms if the densities of the cube is less than the densities of water it will flood on the surface partially immersed eh? this one must be partially immersed partially immersed and uh, if the densities of the cube equal to the densities of water it must be fully immersed and the cube can be at any place inside the liquid how about a yeah? the weight of the displaced water if you still remember the weight of the displaced water is equal to the upthrust right according to Archimedes principle this weight of the displaced water is the upthrust is equal to the upthrust eh? and the upthrust is equal to the weight of the wooden cube okay and this is correct according to the principle of flotations the principle of flotation says that if the object flood on the surface of the uh, uh, flood on the liquid then the up trust must be the up trust must be equal to the weight of the object uh, so this is the principles of flotations eh? okay according to the principles of flotations the weight of the displaced water this is the uptrust equal to the weight of the wooden cube example four figure above shows an empty boat floating at rest at rest means that it's not moving and then so all the forces are in equilibrium eh? okay at rest means the forces are in equilibrium and the forces that act on this boat eh? okay is just the two forces right is the uptrust eh? the uptrust and the weight okay the two forces that act on uh, this boat are the upthrust and the weight huh? now given that the mass of the boat is 150 kg so the mass is 150 kg then means that the weight is 1500 newtons huh? i'll show you the calculations later a uh, find the upthrust acting on the boat what's the uptrust acting on the boat the answer is okay according to the principles of flotations eh, principles of flotations the upthrust is equal to the weight of the object right if the object flirt in the uh, liquids eh, the upthrust must be equal to the weight and uh, weight w equals to mg eh? w equal to mg that's the formula to find weight and the m is the mass the mass is 150 and the g is 10 eh, the gravitational field strength and this is equal to 1500 newtons eh? okay so the weight is 1500 newtons the uptrust must also be 1500 newtons because the uptrust must be equal to the weight eh? okay and that's how we find the weight eh? w equals to mg eh? the mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength so uh the answer is uh, 1500 newtons b the mass of the water displaced by the boat what's the mass of the water b yeah? the upthrust is equal to the weight eh? the weight is equal to the upthrust the weight of the displaced water eh? okay the weight of the displaced water this is the weight of the water not the weight of the boat eh? okay it's the weight of the displaced water the weight of the displaced water is equal to the uptrust. This is according to Archimedes principle. Okay, the uptrust is one thousand five hundred newtons here, and the weight of the displaced water is equal to the mass times the gravitational field strength, and the gravitational field strength is equal to ten. So therefore, the mass is equal to one thousand five hundred divided by ten is equal to one hundred fifty kg so the mass of the displaced water is also equal to 150 kg so since the weight of the border is equal to the uptrust and the uptrust is equal to the this one the uptrust is equal to the weight of the displaced water 
So therefore, the mass of the displaced water is equal to the mass of the boat. Okay, C. The maximum mass that the boat can load safely if the volumes of the boat at the safety level is 3 meter cube. Okay, you see a boat has a safety level. So that means that if the water level is less than this, then it's safe. But if it's higher than this, then it's not safe. Okay, the, the, the boat may sink. Here, given that the volume of the boat of the safety level is 3 meter cube. So if we up to this level, so then the volume is 3 meter cube. So if it's 3 meter cube, let's see. If the volume is 3 meter cube, then what's the upthrust? So the upthrust is equal to rho v g. Yeah, rho v g. Yeah. Rho is the density. Yeah? Densities of the liquids. Uh, this is water. So the densities of the water. Okay, now the densities of the water is not given. Uh, okay, suppose uh, the densities of water must be given. Uh. So right here, density of water. Densities of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. So the density is 1000 and uh, the volume is 3. The g, the g is equal to 10. Uh. The gravitational field strength equal to 10. So it's uh, 30,000 Newton. 30,000 Newton. Uh. So if the water levels are up to the safety levels, uh, then the upthrust is 30,000 Newtons. 30,000 Newtons uh, is equal to equivalent to the weight of uh, a, a mass of 3,000 kg. Uh. So the mass, uh, the mass is 3,000 kg. Mass is 3,000 kg. The upthrust 30,000 Newton. Uh, okay, we, we, you can calculate by using the formula. Okay, W equals to mg uh, if the weight is the 30,000 uh, then the mass times 10 okay so the mass is uh, 3,000 kg but 3,000 kg you must include you must include the mass of the boat because at the safety level so at the safety level the uptrust 30,000 newtons uh, okay uh, this must be include the mass of the boat uh. Uh, the mass the maximum mass of the mass uh, that the boat can load is uh, 3000 kg minus the mass of the boat 150 kg so it's equal to 2850 kg so that is the maximum load maximum load eh, that this boat can carry it can carry 2850 kg at the safety level higher than that then it will be dangerous so you see uh, that is how we calculate the maximum load Okay, if you know the volume, uh, the volume at the safety level. So from the volume of the safety levels, you can find the uptrust because we know the densities of water and gravitational field strength. And then if we know the volume, then we can find the uptrust. Uh, from the uptrust, uh, then we can find the mass. Uptrust is equal to the weight. Uh. Uptrust is equal to the weight. From the weight, we can find the mass. Remember, the mass, you, you must minus the mass of the boat. Uh. Okay, the mass of the load uh, is the total mass minus the mass of the boat. Okay, so that's the answer for uh, example 4.